Nearly 200 earthquakes were recorded in Yellowstone National Park. Um, certainly the whole you know, structure kind of swayed. Uh Yellowstone awakens. 200 earthquakes near Lone Star Geyser raise fears USGS detects magma cap. Yellowstone National Park, a land of bubbling springs, geyser eruptions, and a simmering supervolcano buried deep beneath the Earth's crust, is once again making headlines. In July 2025, reports of over 200 small earthquakes rattling the area around Lone Star Geyser, southwest of the park's iconic Old Faithful, have sparked new questions. Is the Yellowstone supervolcano stirring? Could this be the beginning of something far more catastrophic? Even more intriguing, a new USGS geophysical study reveals a dense magma cap beneath the Yellowstone caldera, a discovery with profound implications. Is this cap a lid holding back a ticking time bomb or a stabilizing force preventing eruption? Let's break down what's happening beneath America's most famous volcano. Tremors beneath the forest. What we know about the 200 earthquakes. Throughout the month of July 2025, sensitive seismographs positioned around Yellowstone picked up a cluster of over 200 micro-earthquakes centered near the Lone Star Geyser Basin, a remote region southeast of Old Faithful. These tremors ranged from magnitude 0.8 to 2.9, barely felt by visitors, but enough to raise concern among geologists monitoring the park. According to the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, YVO, such swarms are not unusual. Yellowstone experiences between 1,500 and 2,500 earthquakes each year, most of them in swarms brief. Intense episodes of seismic activity that often last days or weeks. But what makes this latest swarm particularly intriguing is its proximity to a geyser and area known to be hydrothermally active. The earthquakes appear to be shallow, occurring within three to six kilometers below the surface, suggesting a hydrothermal origin, perhaps steam and water interacting with hot rock, causing tiny fractures in the Earth's crust. Still, not everyone is convinced it's business as usual. The magma cap, new study sheds light on Yellowstone's subsurface secret. Swile, the quake swarm alone may not indicate a looming eruption. A separate scientific development has added a layer of complexity to the story. In June 2025, a new magnetotelleric survey conducted by the USGS and researchers from Oregon State University produced the most detailed image yet of Yellowstone's magma reservoir system. Deep beneath the park 
at depths of 6 to 15 kilometers, lies a vast body of partially molten rock, the magma chamber, that fuels Yellowstone's geothermal features. But above this molten mass, scientists discovered something remarkable, a dense, hardened cap of solidified volcanic rock, sitting like a lid at depths of 3.5 to 5 kilometers. This magma cap appears to act as a pressure regulator, trapping heat and gases below while preventing sudden, explosive release. This discovery may explain why, despite thousands of earthquakes and ongoing geothermal activity, Yellowstone has remained dormant for over 640,000 years since its last caldera-forming super-eruption. The presence of this magma cap is like discovering a reinforced ceiling above a pressurized basement, said Dr. Emily Carter, geophysicist with the USGS. It gives us insight into how Yellowstone has been able to vent pressure gradually, avoiding catastrophic eruptions. Supervolcano what it would take to blow. Yellowstone is often referred to as a supervolcano, a term that evokes Hollywood disaster movies and online doomsday predictions. But the reality is more complex and more reassuring. For Yellowstone to erupt on a caldera scale, Three conditions must occur. Large volumes of magma must accumulate rapidly. That magma must be gas rich and low density enough to rise through the crust. Pressure must exceed the resistance of overlying rock, i.e. the cap. Currently, none of these conditions are being met. The magma chamber beneath Yellowstone is estimated to be mostly solid, with only 5 to 15% molten material, far below the 50% melt threshold required for eruptability. The newly identified magma cap further dampens the chance of sudden eruption.